All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Houston Rockets Daily. Nerlens Noel, let's pull it up on the screen here. So the Houston Rockets could use a backup big because the Jacques Landell move uh, just simply didn't end up working out. So we got a tweet here from Bradeau. Free agent center Nerlens Noel has drawn exploratory interest from Houston. The Rockets toyed with the idea of adding a center at the trade deadline and adding Noel, a 10-year veteran, has also been discussed. So, you know, Houston... We need a you know backup big. You know the Jock Landell situation reminds me awfully of Daniel Tice. But even Daniel Tice, when he was with Houston, man, he played and he played a lot and he played probably a little bit too much with Elpern Shangun on the roster. And uh, so they, you know, they sign him. I remember making a video in my mom's uh, office in the summer of college. You know, with like a fake microphone, being like, "What the hell are we doing out here, man?" And uh, yeah, they ended up if I'm not mistaken, trading him at the deadline. So New Orleans is 29 years old. This dude is still very young. Um, He's kind of always had some, you know, when he first got into the NBA back in like, damn, dude, I was like a freshman in high school, like 2013, if I'm not mistaken, maybe 2014 uh, injuries. And uh, that was unfortunate, but he's 29 years old. And, you know, like it says here, he's been a 10-year veteran. He's only played in, I believe, exactly 42 games since the year 2021. And uh, we'll pull up a tweet here from myself. Everybody should go follow Let's Talk Rockets on Twitter, guys. Um, Nerdless Noel is perfect for the Rockets. Even if he didn't play a single game, the Rockets could use another veteran for the locker room. So this is something we talked about in our uh, live stream or in our show yesterday on the Let's Talk Rockets podcast, uh, which, by the way, guys, some other Rocket reporters creators whatever uh made a podcast called let's talk rockets and um you know we've done 60 of them so if you guys wouldn't mind hitting the link in the description of this video it'll give you apple it'll give you spotify whatever streaming site you use uh to go check that out and hit that follow button you know maybe rate it because uh yeah i don't want to change my name a year into the podcast but those are some there's some heavy hitting reporters with some big followings. So I, I could use your guys' help. Uh, once again, links in the bio. Let's talk Rockets. Anyways, you know, this is something we talked about yesterday on the show here, where it was like two years ago, last three years in general, to be honest with you, we didn't have enough veterans on the team, man. You know, we just didn't. These young guys need mentors. They need leaders. They need to learn how to lead. They need to be led. Like having the experience of a 10-year veteran, even if he doesn't even play, a single minute on the floor goes a very long way, right? Especially if we're starting to have some concerns with um, losing and team morale. We got Jalen Green, and Jalen Green's not – I think Jalen Green's been a class act. Um, but having these guys in the locker room to kind of you know calm them down – Show them the ropes, show them what's good. I think that would go a long way. So Norlin Noel is going to get you uh, a ton of rebounds. He's going to get you some blocks. He's a career 1.5 blocks per game player. But once again, he's played in like 42 games since 2021. So he's fresh. He's rejuvenated. The last time we saw Nerlens play a significant amount of games was back in the 2020-2021 season, which if I'm not mistaken was – what was it like 65 games or was it 72 games? So he played in 64 games for the New York Knicks in 2021. He started in 41 of those games. He averaged 24 minutes a night and he had five points, 6.4 rebounds. And most importantly, guys, 2.2 blocks. The reason that's most importantly is, you know, even though we're like the fifth best rebounding team in the NBA, which is kind of crazy, we are the fourth worst rebounding or blocking team in the NBA. So I do think it would be very beneficial to go out and get Nerlens Noel, like we said from uh, that we just saw from Brado. The Rockets wanted a backup big at the deadline. We got our backup big in Steven Adams. Um, or I mean, you can honestly play him with, and they probably will, uh, if Steven's on the starting roster this time next season or to start next season. Uh, Steven and, and Elprin will probably you know get some starts here. I'm curious what that would do with Jabari. Uh, that's for a different day. I also wouldn't be surprised if Steven Adams, Jacques Landau, and Jalen Green and some first-round draft picks were used to acquire a uh, star-level talent. But, uh, yeah, we know they were interested in Brooke Lopez in the offseason. We were looking at guys like Capella, Andre Drummond, and uh, you know Bismack Biombo from even just like free agency. 
well, New Orleans Noel, I think, would be a great choice. So let me know what you guys are thinking. As always, hit that like button, hit that sub button. Appreciate you pulling up to Houston Rockets Daily. Uh, once again, man, go show some love to that podcast. I would really appreciate it. I'm probably about to go give away like two free um, home Houston Rocket tickets to a game of whoever wins it choice. Uh, but, you know, the contingency would probably, you know, you got to follow the podcast and I got to, I got to. F- figure that out but we gotta move fast so thank you guys for watching let me know your thoughts on the nerlens no potential signing with the houston rockets and we will see you soon